In this video, we're going to learn uh, how to create a background blur effect uh, similar to the ones that uh, I recently posted when it comes to these cards uh, on uh, my Instagram page. Now, the background blur is going to be very simple and uh, you're going to need to create uh, first uh, a rectangle, which uh, is going to be the base. And uh, we're actually going to change uh, uh, this one to a color such as blue. And we're also going to round up the corners just for the sake of it. Now we're going to create a duplicate using Command C and Command V. As you can see, we have this uh, duplicate of this rectangle right here on the top. And as I move on top of it, uh, I'm actually going to change uh, the color to pure white and uh, what we're gonna do next uh, is uh, we're going to click on uh, the effects panel and as you can see by default uh, we're going to have the drop shadow selected but what we want uh, in this case uh, is the background blur now the moment that I select background blur nothing really changes and the reason for this uh, is that uh, you need uh, to decrease uh, the opacity on the fill and uh, this is really important, not on the layer, because otherwise it won't work. We want the fill to have a reduced opacity. And uh, as you can still see, there's not much uh, to <laughs> enjoy this uh, background blur. And the reason being is that uh, we need to tweak uh, the settings of this uh, effect. So we're going to click over here on the settings of the background blur. And as you can see, the value is set to four, which uh, isn't quite a, a big uh, value. So what we want to do is we want to increase uh, the value and I'm using the keyboard shortcut uh, shift uh, plus uh, the up arrow key and also down arrow key if you want to decrease the value. Uh, but you can add uh, any numbers that you want over here or even use the slider so that you can uh, basically adjust it live and as you can see this is uh, way more visible so the moment that you tweak uh, and uh, start working with uh, both the value of the background blur which is going to determine of course uh, the amount uh, of uh, this uh, effect uh, as well as the fill which is uh, in essence the transparency of uh, the selected object uh, you're going to be able to create these effects in no time. So this is how you can create a background blur in just a small amount of time. 